Hello students, how are you? My name is Dr. Jyoti Singh and today I am going to discuss with you practical for pharma, basically PharmD and other microbiology students. Okay, so in this video I am going to discuss with you study of apparatus or general microbiology laboratory equipments which are like basically used in any microbiology lab. Okay, so this experiment has been designed about knowing the basic equipments which have been used in the microbiology lab. Now we will be discussing one by one. So the first equipment which is used in any uh, microbiology lab is the microscope. Okay, so what is a microscope? It is an optical instrument consisting of a combination of lenses which magnifies the image of the object seen through it fine so it basically magnifies and also it uh, it it increases the resolution so that we uh, we can be able to see the object in a magnified way okay so it is used for the morphological means to see the shape as well as size of any uh, microorganism fine it is used for the morphological study of a very small organism which are not visible by the naked eye so small organism consists of bacteria as well as fungi okay so these small organism we can visualize this microscope or this compound microscope or it can be like called as a light microscope because it uses the visible light, visible spectrum of light to uh, magnify and to resolve the images of microorganism. Fine. And with this microscope, we cannot uh, visualize the viruses. Fine. Because viruses lies in the size range of 20 to 200 nanometer. Okay. While the bacteria and fungi, their size lies in the micrometer, like 1 to 5 micrometer. Bacteria lies in this size. So this microscope is suitable for the study of bacteria and fungi. And micro means small and scope means to view. So this microscope provides us an opportunity to view the microscopic things. And as we know, we cannot, uh, our eye has a limitation. We cannot see beyond some limit. So microscopes, depending upon its like types, we can... Um, Classify microscope as simple microscope, compound microscope and electron microscope. Simple microscope just magnifies the thing. Compound microscope has several lenses like 10x, 40x and 100x. Okay, so this is a compound microscope. It has several eye lenses. We can visualize the thing in different magnifying powers. And electron microscope consists of electron instead of light so it magnifies the things to nano range okay so electron microscope has scanning electron microscope fine now moving ahead to the next now moving ahead to the next equipment we have autoclave autoclave is a pressure chamber used to sterilize equipment and supplies by subjecting them to high pressure saturated steam at 121 degrees celsius for around 15 to 20 minutes at 15 psi uh, 15 psi means pounds per square inch depending on the size and load of the contents fine so basically this equipment is used for sterilizing the subjects fine so utilized to sterilize the culture media in microbiology lab we have several culture media which we use for growing the uh, growing and culturing the various microorganisms like bacteria and fungi discarding before discarding the growth of any bacteria like we have a factory plate and on which we have like streak the bacteria and before discarding we have to autoclave it because uh, it will lead to uh, environmental contamination right so before discarding also we have to do the autoclaving and other equipments like uh, we have cotton uh, balls we have our various equipments like we have spatulas we have uh, uh, any metal 
any metal uh, instrument which we use in microbiology lab we can autoclave so firstly we have to see that if an object is autoclavable or not because if uh, if any object is made up of plastic and if we subject that uh, instrument or that uh, like if we have a plastic bottle we cannot autoclave it because it will melt in this such a high pressure and temperature it will melt out okay so this is the reason we have to look before autoclaving whether this object is autoclavable or not so basically autoclave is used for sterilizing the things now moving ahead we have uh, with us our next equipment that is incubator so as the name indicate incubator means to incubate so this is basically used to incubate the uh, bacterial cultures at a certain temperature like i if i have isolated a bacteria from soil then soil uh, temperature usually lies between 27 to 30 degree celsius so i will set the temperature of this incubator to 30 degree or 28 degree or 27 degree as per my requirement and this micro uh, microorganism will grow inside this incubator and uh, so that i can obtain my colony it will it will not be like uh, what is the room temperature if my room temperature is supposed 10 degree celsius so uh, if i keep my petri plate in 10 degree celsius might be the organism will not grow or it will take uh, more uh, days to grow fine certainly it will not grow at this temperature so every organism has a certain temperature requirement to grow fine so we can provide different temperature range like if our uh, concerned microorganism uh, likes to grow as 37 degree celsius suppose we have isolated an organism microorganism from human body uh, we will put this organism at 37 degree celsius by changing the temperature settings of this incubate okay so it is a device used to grow and maintain the microbiological cultures the incubator maintains optimal temperature humidity and other conditions such as carbon dioxide some of the incubators are also attached with carbon dioxide cylinder if our organism is like it is anaerobic like it doesn't uh, need oxygen for its growth so and uh, co2 cylinder may be provided with the incubator and oxygen contents of the atmosphere inside so this is basically for growing the microorganism inside the lab now our next equipment now our next equipment is oven so it is basically a device for used in the sterilization as well as for drying purpose of general uh, things which are used in the microbiology lab so oven uses dry heat to sterilize it is it also sterilize like it would take uh, like roughly 4 hours at 100 degree celsius uh, if we keep our uh, like our glass wares in this uh, at this temperature for this much of time our glass wares will get sterilized okay so it is used to sterilize items that might be damaged by moist heat example glassware powders oils etc fine now uh, going next we have our with us our laminar flow hood or laminar safety hood so it is an enclosed ventilated laboratory for uh, space for safety safely working with materials contaminated with pathogens okay so if i have a petri dish okay and i want to grow an organism into this petri dish so might be there is a chance like from environment through air my petri plate will get contaminated with several fungi as well as with several species of bacteria also so to prevent this what i will do i will take help of laminar flow in this laminar flow as we can see here uh, there are some there are two types of laminar flow there are some vertical laminar uh, flow and the, there are some uh, horizontal lam laminar flow in this figure we have our vertical laminar flow because the filters the hepa filters this is the word hepa h e p a okay it stands for high high efficiency high efficiency particulate air filter okay air filter 
okay so this is the uh, there are some filters which are known as high efficiency uh, particulate air filter or hipa filter which has been placed on a vertical position or it can be placed on a horizontal position in a laminar hood flow what does it do it will it will streamline the air flow as well as filter out the harmful bacteria as well as fungal spores from the air and will provide us a sterilized and clean environment inside this laminar hood and we can like grow our choice of microorganism without uh, getting any contamination even in our petri plate so this is the this is the most basic uh, equipment which are being used in the microbiology lab we cannot consider we cannot imagine a microbiology lab without this laminar flow hood okay or safety cabinet also it protects the user also from getting contamination because there is a streamline air inside this uh, laminar hood flow okay so it is used in microbial inoculation and isolation studies as well as to sterilize storage of materials in addition it is used for protection of user samples and the environment from hazardous contamination next equipment uh, which we will find in our microbiology lab is the laboratory refrigerator as we all know what is the purpose of refrigerator is keep is it has got a internal temperature of approximately 4 degrees celsius okay it will maintain temperature of 4 degrees celsius so certainly it will slow down the bacterial growth we can use this refrigerator to keep our uh, microbiological samples and increase their shelf life okay so it is used for a wide variety of purpose such as keeping the media maintenance and storage of stock cultures between subculturing periods storage of sterilized media to prevent dehydration and also used as a repository for thermostable solutions antibiotics and serums we can uh, the the materials or the antibiotics or the serums or the media which require low temperature or we want to keep them for a longer period of time without using them then we can certainly put them into the refrigerators now we have some anaerobic jars with us these are also used in microbiology lab to culture some anaerobic bacteria like bacteria which don't like uh, oxygen and they can't grow in the presence of oxygen we we'll use this anaerobic jars to grow such microorganisms now we have this uh, balance this is electronic balance Uh, it has a capacity to weigh uh, like um, as uh, as low as one mg. Okay, so they are used in precise weighing of small amounts of up to milligrams of samples and chemicals used for preparing media for stock solutions. Fine. Now. So we have hot plate or stair plate this is the heating plate which uh, get heated as per the our choice like if we set this uh, heating plate temperature at 60 degree it will uh, go up to 60 degree as well as we have this magnetic stirrer beads okay so we can also uh, do two things simultaneously heating as well as stirring of the media suppose we have like i have put nacl in water and i want to stir as well as heat that uh, content then i will put this beaker onto this stirring as well as heating plate simultaneously it will stir with the help of magnetic beat as well as it this hot plate will heat the content in this beaker now moving ahead we have we have this vortex okay so a vortex picture or vortexer is a simple device used commonly in laboratories to mix small vials of liquid if we have this small amount of vial okay and i put something into this vial so there are chances like the liquid will be stick here liquid will be stick in here liquid will be stick in here on the cap or as well okay so what i want i want all my samples to get settled down at the bottom of the Uh, tube. Okay, so for small uh, tubes, what I will do, I will just vortex. Huh? It will mix, it will agitate the things, and it will uh, bring down all the like dots of the small amount of sample. Okay, so vortex agitates the solution in the tube, flask, and so in certain speed and duration. Now we have with us. our water bath so water bath is basically used for uh, for some purposes like in certain uh, bod uh, bod reactions we use water bath for calculating the bod and cod of water 
and it is device that maintains water as a constant temperature it is used in the microbiological laboratory for incubations if we want to incubate uh, at certain heat at certain temperature or in some uh, like staining procedure like endospore staining we generally use water baths fine so uh, we have next with us ph meter with this equipment we measure the ph of the solution uh, whether it is acidic or basic this is an electrode based ph and it gives us a digital reading of the electrode so this is very useful in any microbiology laboratory now we have uh, with us the filter paper it is a semi permeable paper barrier placed perpendicular to a liquid or air flow used to separate fine solids from the liquid or air now we have with us after filter paper we have with us bunsen burner flame it is a common piece of laboratory equipment that produces a single open gas flame which is used for heating and sterilization and also we keep this bunsen burner flame inside our laminar wood flow to clean to sterilize our environment or to sterilize our inoculating needles as well as spread fine now Uh, apart from these inoculating loops and needles are also required for inoculating the sample into media and also the inoculating loop for the uh, for streaking for uh, making lawn cultures these are very much required and they are made up of platinum and nichrome wires so that they can be used multiple number of times after uh, each use they have they they are dipped into alcohol and they are like uh, heated to red hot and then they can be again used after cooling so that is why they are made up of platinum or nichrome wire now we have uh, with us glass slides and certain stains as well as cover slip to uh, visualize our micro organism under a microscope by keeping them on the glass slide now we have petri dishes in this petri dishes they can be made up of glasses or they can be made up of plastic uh, uh, in this petri dishes we pour the media and uh, keep them for solidifying after the media get solidified we use this petri plates to inoculate the media with our desired microorganism and after they grow uh, by keeping them into incubator after they grow we visualize the colonies of the microorganism or we can distinguish through Color by using various differential as well as selective media to visualize our microorganisms. Fine. Now other essentials like so water, a proof permanent marker, matches or lighter, general microbiology manual. These are some other essential things which we need in our microbiology lab. So I hope you uh, like you have a thorough and uh, in depth knowledge of uh, what are the general purpose things which we need in our day to day microbiology. Yeah. Thank you so much.